guys welcome back to another video today i am doing a underrated slime shop review i am reviewing anti slime she i think started her slime shop probably just a few months ago and she's actually become pretty um successful and she's got some really cool slimes and like i've been so bored during this quarantine you guys and i'm assuming you like a lot of you guys have I definitely recommend checking her out because she just did like a random restock where she just made a bunch of slimes that she really um likes and thought were cool so um I just really wanted to buy from her because they were all like super colorful and everything and I just really liked the concept so um let's get into this review So here's everything I got in my package. Um, there's this little like baggie that is hollow and I think it's super cute. I love when Slimers like send these cute little um, like packages. It's like, I, how do I explain this? It's like um, when you get the slimes, you know, of course you look forward to the slimes, but something that people will also remember is like your packaging. And if you have super cute packaging and nice extras and stuff like that, you're definitely winning their hearts in that category. Um, and then she sent this, um, lip balm, which I love the cap. It's super pretty. And then some of these fishbowl beads. So that was super nice. In the little hollow package, she sent her little care card. I've never seen it actually, like, in, like, the square form before. So I think that's super unique. Um, of course, on the front is her name and her logo and everything. And then on the back is how to care for the slime and how to contact her. So I think that's super cool. She had this little thing in here. I'm not sure what it is, but the pearl is, a like, super cute. Some nerds, some sweet tarts, the activator bottle, and this little guy, which he's adorable. Um, yeah, so everything was packaged nicely. As you can see, all the slimes were bubble wrapped and nothing leaked. So let's get into the actual slime review. So like I said, everything was packaged nicely, nothing leaked. Um, this one did have a little bit of spillage, but that was because it was overfilled, which is perfectly normal. Um, I do want to mention I did find quite a few hairs. I found one on the outside of the package, which is perfectly normal. Um, this one has like a whole clump of hairs right here. Kind of hard to see, but um, that's what it looks like. And then this one has a hair on the back. And this one had a hair on the f the top and on the bottom. Um, this one's kind of hard to see, but um, I just wanted to mention that it would be um, like better to maybe keep the, your spaces clean, um, tie your hair back when you're packaging slime, making slime. Um, but I can understand a few hairs. I just want to mention that because there was a few more hairs than um, I would say is normal. So I just wanted to mention that. So as you can see, there are um, five slimes here. This one goes with this one. Um, I did technically order, I think, six, but this one only came in three ounces. But I think, like, you guys just look at this beauty. Like, the sprinkles are so adorable. And, like, this slime just made me so happy, especially since I'm so bored. I wanted it, so I bought three of them, even though they were on the expensive side. But that's because of all the sprinkles. So she did contact me and ask if I wanted an 8 ounce instead and then would give me a 3 ounce extra um, just to kind of cover that 1 ounce that I'm losing. So I think that's perfectly fine. Of course, I agreed to it and thank you so much for reaching out to me for that. Um, but yeah, let's get into the review. So all of her slimes come with this um, logo on the front and then the title of the slime on the back. And this is super cute, like um, it's pretty simple, but I really like how it's um, clear so that you can see the slime still, but then you of course have the label on the bottom. Um, of course, I didn't order this one, but this one did look super cute on the website. So I'm glad this was my extra. Before I go and cloud this beautiful thing up, I just want you guys to look at it. Like, it's so pretty. I love every part of this slime. And it's, I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be scented, but you guys, I'm so bad at naming scents. It kind of smells like a porta potty. I don't, 
I don't know. It's not supposed to be like a mean thing, but <laughs> um, it still smells really good. Don't like, I don't know. Don't like not buy from her. Like it actually smells good. I'm just terrible at naming scents. Don't listen to me. So this is like a clear based slime with some bingzu beads and some fishbowl beads and like um, some little pearls are in here and then there is one big pearl. Um, it's just a super cute slime and especially for being a clear base, it's like more on the gummy side. Um, I've never actually had like a gummy slime, um, but that's just kind of how I can describe it. Um, it does leave a little bit of residue like most clear slimes do, but that's perfectly okay. And since this is a extra, I'm not going to be reviewing it, like giving it a star rating, but um, I definitely enjoyed this one, so thank you so much for this extra. Before I get into this one, I wanted to mention really, really quickly, um, the hairs at the beginning I think were hers, um, but there are a few little hairs here and there, but I know she has some fur babies at home, and I definitely understand that like cats and dogs get everywhere, and their hair gets everywhere. I can't even get it off of myself, so like the little hairs, especially animal hairs, don't bother me at all. Um, if that does bother you, I just, you know, wanted to point that out, but it doesn't bother me at all and yeah I just wanted to mention that super quickly so this one is kawaii goth pop um, this one was kind of a last-minute purchase um, it looks super pretty um, not really my style of a slime but like I couldn't pass up the prettiness and that's why I got it and I thought it was super duper cute So this slime is like jam packed with foam beads and glitters and hollow glitters um, and bingzu beads and it is a gorgeous gray color and it kind of smells like perfume, kind of like grape, um, super nice scent actually. Um, and then it has these little um, Ouija pieces in it which I think are super adorable. Um, it does have quite a lot of fallout just like the last slime um, but it is kind of overactivated but I think that's because my... Uh, where I live just got a huge cold front that pretty much wasn't even expected like yesterday and the week before it was in the 70s and now it's in the 40s um so I'm not going to take off for that um but this time's super cute it does get like a lot of those hollow glitters on my hands but that could be because of the um overactivated like part I'm not really sure um, but overall, I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of 5, just because I don't, I'm not really sure about the fallout and stuff, um, if that is overactivation, but the slime is still super duper nice. This next slime is coffee cake and I thought it was super interesting. She had two different options that you could choose. She had like this vanilla bean um, slime and then she had a white chocolate base that you could do instead. Um, and I chose the vanilla bean one. I just thought that made more sense with coffee cake but of course everyone has their preferences so I think it's nice that she um, had two different um types that you could pick and then she sent this cute bag of r like rainbow sprinkles um and I think they're super cute especially these little ones it reminds me of like those rainbow layer cake um things I don't even know like what I'm talking about but super duper cute I did want to mention just right off the bat I do see a hair in this slime um and actually you know what I see another one there 
Um, so again, just try to keep your workspaces clean. Um, and that's pretty much all I could say about that. So this slime kind of smells like cinnamon coffee cake-ish, and then this one is like a super sweet vanilla scent, so I'm super excited to mix both of them. Um, the last one had an initial wet uh, residue, I wanted to mention that, and this one does too, so I'm assuming they all do, but as far as I could tell, it does go away. All mixed together, this slime becomes a beautiful, just about 11 ounce clay slime, super thick and holdable. Um, again, a little overactivated, but it is pretty cold right now. Um, and the scent is pretty much exactly what you think um, like coffee cake and vanilla together would smell like. So it's super nice. The sprinkles and the three ounce were so fun to mix in. Like I had so much fun with this slime. Um, so besides the like, Kind of, I don't, like, kind of like the multitude of hairs um, in the vanilla part. This was a super nice slime. I'm going to give the slime a 5 out of 5, but with the hairs, the overall score is going to be a 4 out of 5 because there was quite a few hairs in the vanilla part, which it pains me to like bring down the score because this is such a beautiful slime, but I did um, think that there was kind of an excessive amount in that part. This next slime is Arcade Mode. This one wasn't part of her restock, but she had this one in stock from her last one, which I was hoping she kept in stock because this one looks so awesome. And like these star glitters are so cute and like accurate to like that retro gaming style. Um, I did want to say right off the bat, I could see a few hairs in the slime on here and on the side. So um, I'm going to get those and then we'll get into this little crunch session. So this slime is so crunchy, I love it, like I love microflones and crunchy slimes so this slime just makes me so happy and it's definitely nostalgic to like those old um, arcade games that you could play um, and it's just super nice, it smells exactly like banana split and it's like chucked full of um, like little beads and bingsu beads and um, like colorful uh, beads and like the glitter. She sent so many glitters and I thought it was going to be too many but it's pretty much just the perfect amount and it's like the perfect ratio of like all these crunchy things to slime. It makes me so happy. If I could I'd rate this slime like a 10 out of 5. It's so awesome. It makes me so happy during like this dark time that we are going through right now. Um, 
And yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, but overall, with the hairs, um, because again, I found quite a few in this one, um, I'm going to give it like a 4.5 out of 5. This final slime is the one that I have been waiting for so long. I must admit, while I was waiting for this package to come in, I even rewatched her video of her making this one like over and over again because it is so beautiful and there's so many different sprinkles and they're all so cute. Like, I can't get over this slime, you guys. There's so many sprinkles. Definitely worth the money. And I'm so glad she asked to put it in an 8 ounce container because, like, if I could get like a 64 ounce of this thing or something I would love it it's so pretty <sighs> I'm just obsessing so like the other slimes I did find some hairs in here but I think that clear slimes are a little harder to keep clean so um I think I found just like two maybe three of them so not a big deal um the slime is just like so nice especially since it's a clear slime it's actually super thick and I just, I love this. It's so pretty. Um, and then, of course, to keep the clarity, it is unscented, which I'm perfectly okay with because this, oh, you guys, you're going to get so mad at me, but I'm just obsessed with this. So overall, super thick, super pretty. I'm like going to be playing with this slime so much. The little cherry charms are amazing. And this is definitely like random. I showed you guys some of the sprinkles that are in here. And there's like little pills and onion pieces and jack-o'-lanterns. Like, oh my gosh, this slime just makes me so pretty. I definitely want to get more of them. Um, I just, I love this slime so much. If I could give it like a 100 out of 5, I would. Like, I... I just love this slime, you guys, and definitely, you need to, you need to pick this up, like, this is so awesome, definitely worth the money, there's no slime residue or anything like that, so I just love this slime. So with that, that is the end of my review. This was a long one, but definitely worth it. The weight was worth it. The price was worth it. Like, everything was so worth it. Um, you know, she has, of course, a few things to work on. And, of course, I would always recommend a better, um, like, workspace because there was quite a few hairs in this. But that is really the only complaint that I had. Like, these times were amazing, especially since she just started her shop not too long ago. So I definitely recommend checking her out on Instagram. She's so absolutely underrated and I just I really love these slimes I'm like you know like high key obsessed now so if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more underrated shops or you have an underrated shop you would like me to check out let me know in the comments down below subscribe to become part of my pj squad if you like my videos and want to see more and I will see you guys in the next video so with that I am signing off